in the second video about the absolutes of pitching and, and what it takes to be successful, we're going to look at what it takes to create momentum and to create the optimal stride length in your pitching delivery. And we're going to focus on something that we call the knee lift and hip thrust. And it's pretty much the first move that all pitchers are going to make. And so we'll look at Roger Clem as a start. And we'll go ahead and get him into his knee lift here. And one of the things you're going to see is when he lifts his knee, he's simultaneously going to be thrusting towards home plate. So you'll see the knee here turns inward towards the center of gravity. And at the same time as he's lifting his knee in towards the center of gravity, he's going to be thrusting his hip and his front rear end towards home plate. So on the left-hand side, go ahead and watch how as he leads with this hip, head stays over center of gravity, leads with the hip to drive towards home plate, and the knee and the foot stay behind the hip so that he can lead with the hip and create the momentum that he needs to drive towards home plate. Another way to look at it, to think about it, he's at the top of his knee lift here. If we draw a line behind his back hip where the pitching rubber is, He's going to create separation from that line by driving his hip and his front rear end towards home plate. You can see here that separation that he's created. That's going to maximize the momentum that he creates. If you look at it from the right angle here, we're looking at straight on from him. You see him in his knee lift here. He's going to lead with this hip. Drive that hip towards home plate. It doesn't matter which pitcher that we show. It could be any pitcher. You're going to see that same principle at play. We'll go ahead and pull up a foreview of several different pitchers here just to kind of illustrate how they all use this principle to be successful. Throw up Greg Maddox. We'll throw Randy Johnson up there. You do Tom Glavin. You do Kurt Schilling. Go ahead and get all these guys into their knee lift. Again, what you'll see with that front knee, while they're maintaining that balance, that knee turns inward towards their center of gravity. They're showing their butt and their front hip towards home plate. You watch Greg or Kurt Schilling down here on the lower left-hand side. Watch how he leads with this hip to create the momentum towards home plate. Go ahead and track him forward. Hip leads. Knee and foot stay behind the hip. And as a result, as he breaks his arms, we can see that separation he's already created with his back hip from the pitching rubber. Tom Glavin, same thing. Draw a line behind his hip here. Go ahead and watch how he leads with the hip towards home plate here. Hip leads, drives towards home plate, knee and foot stay behind the hip, and he's created that separation from his back hip. Randy Johnson, who is great at this in terms of creating that momentum towards home plate, leads with the hip, drives with the hip, foot and knee stay inside the hip, separation from that pitching rubber with his back hip. The distance already there is created. Greg Maddox, same thing. Creating good, strong momentum to maximize velocity by lifting the knee and thrusting with the hip simultaneously. Right there. And you're going to see that separation from the rubber there with Maddox. Another way to think about this, all three pitchers, look at the angle that their back leg creates from the pitching rubber. Driving off the inside of their back leg thrusting with their front hip. That's how you start to create that momentum and maximize your stride and also maximize your velocity.